What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Savage Land. And today on The Savage Land, we're going to be talking about Yo Jo June. And today is June 1st, the uh, first live stream, dropping some new pre orders for G.I. Joe Classified. And shout out to all the classified collectors out there. And we're going to get right into it like they've been getting with the live streams, which is really cool. They just get straight down to business, and I always love that. But first up, we have Tiger Force Dusty. I'm going to automatically say there's not enough meat on the bone to turn around and just put Dusty out there like that. I think this figure is going to sit for a couple of months. The only thing different on him is pretty much paint apps. He has a pea soup green uh, fatigue with a kind of like beige tiger stripe going with him. More of like a jungle attire than a desert attire. And I believe they had a bunch of other characters that they probably could have did with Tiger Force. I believe there was a Tiger Force Flint and Roadblock than this Dusty. But they already had the mold, so I kind of understand as far as business-wise, them turning around and giving us this one back straight up. I do see that he has some red tint on his goggles that he did not have before, which looks pretty cool. But me, personally, I'm not going to try to pre-order this. When Tiger Force and Python Patrol first came out, I was at Target you know getting my pre-orders down make sure they was held in so i can get them but i was serious on collecting the first one through 50. now with the rest of them i'm playing chess i'm playing chess with this shit. i'm playing chess with this shit. i'm just i'm not gonna jump up and just go get pre-orders especially with something like this when me personally i just opened up my original dusty and i know a lot of people are up there like that so this one will probably sit around for a little bit like i said i think the original dusty figure is pretty cool and and this one doesn't like raise the bar on me i can see if it was a significant difference like tiger force outback versus the regular outback which are two great figures but I can see somebody just wanting one of each in their own uh, right. And then next up, oh, also uh, these uh, uh, Python Patrol and Tiger Force guys will be out August 1st. That is the release. That is the street date for them to drop. And next up, they talking about the uh, Python Crimson Guard. Like I said, once again, not enough meat on the bone for me to turn around and just want to pre-order this. I've also been looking to see if these guys were up on Target on, on, on my Target.com website, and I haven't seen them. On Hasbro Post, uh, Dusty and the uh, Python, I mean, uh, and the Crimson Guard are, are sold out. But I'm, I'm not stressing over that. Pretty much same deck on the Crimson Guard. It's just switched up with a gray, crimson, and more of like a Mountain Dew color, <laughs> a 1990s lightning bolt uh mountain dew color which when i first seen the digital renders uh two months ago saying that this figure was coming out i was like eh. i was like i don't know about that but it does look a little bit better uh actually uh live and in person which i haven't seen it in person but you know what i'm saying today when they showed the actual toy of it looks a little bit better but i will be waiting on these target exclusives and plus with target it's a real headache they take the money off, put it back on, take the money off, put it back on, and you're bound to lose your pre-orders. And this is not a Hasbro thing. This is a Target thing. I think people are pretty fed up with dealing with that system in Target. Either you're going to take my money or don't. Big Bad Toy Store is a great toy store to pre-order from. They don't take my money. Even if I don't have the money on the card, they will still hold my orders in a pile of loot. Or on the on the switch side of things, if you order for some like some uh, company directly, like an import, they automatically take the money. Or NECA, they automatically take the money. That way, in my head, I know it's automatically already gone. So you you have to do either or. You can't do both, or you're gonna confuse your customers and you're gonna lose business. Which, at this point, with me, they've done with me. I'll wait. I'll find it in Target. So Crimson Guard, uh, number sixty six, and Tiger Force Duke, number sixty five. They will be ready to drop street dates August 1st. Up next on their uh, on their pre-orders that they dropped today was the Arctic Bat. Now, this Arctic Bat is dope. Seeing it uh, up there with uh, Lenny and Emily, it was a great, great looking figure. It had it's pretty much the same mold as the original Bat, which I uh, have haven't got the Crimson Bat. As you know, I, I'm a big army collector. If you're watching the channel, you follow me. But I haven't got the Crimson Bat. That's something I'm going to wait on. This Arctic Bat is has a lot of new parts on it. Where to where? Hey, I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered five of them. I definitely have to get my five in. I like the alternate head. I like that it has a futuristic, like one-eyed scope to give it more like a 
Lenny said more like a 4K vision, which with the imagination is cool for like long range sniping two miles out. And then it has a chainsaw, which I said Gridiron Studios had been did that, but they see that I'm glad they picked up on that for cutting through ice, digging out a little berm for you to sit in and do your sniping. Has a new chest piece on there, which pretty much has a ammo pack. And then it has the battle damage chest piece, which is in white. Then it has the regular chest piece, which is in white with a black Cobra logo. Long range futuristic sniper rifle. Uh, also has the same backpack. Has a more of like a uv ray visor for the sun if you're out in the snow the sun shines and sparkles off the snow almost to like a blinding effect almost like when you're fishing at a lake which snow is partly made of water so that same effect happens so i can see why they had the uv ray visor on there which is pretty cool man it has like the polarized looked on it man and it's it, it's it's dope and also with this bat all of the parts are compatible with your previous bats which this is the same bat just has a few different uh, deco pieces. Now, this right here is a fan channel exclusive. So you can find this on Big Bad Toy Store. That's why I ordered my uh, five from, or Amazon, uh, Hasbro Post, which is still up on Post. So you definitely can get this very easily. And I think that's a good idea because not maybe not everybody likes this bat. Same bat, maybe people want a more traditional look, but I like this one with the extra features. I think it's dope. And also, let's talk about the price. $24.99 with this with a few extra pieces you think Hasbro would do something sneaky like add a few extra dollars but no actually no this is a $24.99 release yeah, I'm thinking it probably would have been a deluxe but that's cool with me that's cool with me like I said G.I. Joe is a quality line so when they charge $24.99 for it I, I, I can understand that I can understand that um, if this was a deluxe I wouldn't be able to understand that it doesn't come with enough meat on the bone but it's kind of like it's in a gray area here and they did a good job they kept it at a regular release so next up we have the Hasbro post exclusive trouble bubble with the televiper which is a good looking figure good looking vehicle and I'll already say this is at $54.99 with most of your two packs today uh most of your uh characters with a vehicle you're going to be paying 50 bucks and i think this one comes with enough accessories comes with enough little switch up where i can warrant the 54 especially at today's prices i can definitely warrant the 54 dollars on this um it's borderline but i definitely can warrant and say that hey I, I, I will pay the 54 for the trouble bubble and then they know what they're doing they made it a hasbro post exclusive so you got to come on there and get it this is the only spot you can get it not less if it wasn't selling then as we've seen before they'll start kicking it off to the big bad toy stores the amazons and all that good stuff but let's get into this figure right here televiper pretty much you get three different figures here you get a caucasian televiper you get a uh, African-American Televiper, and then you also get one with almost kind of like a VR just head uh, scope. Like you, you don't see any ray swap or anything like that. You just pretty much see the head and it has like a VR mask. So you can, I guess, like almost like a flight simulation while you're in the pod to help you see everything and fly very good and accurately. To me, it almost looks like um, it has the same mold of scrap iron, but I'm not too sure. It has like a futuristic rifle, which that i'm not tripping off of because the way it looks it looks like some gi joe type stuff um has a nice backpack on him also uh i like the deco i like i like the navy blue with the purple just a very kind of almost uh plain kind of soldier with a lot of different features um if you grab most of the multiples of these you can make it into five african-american uh uh trouble bubble drivers you can make it to five caucasian three here two there or you can just make it to all they all have that vr helmet on so it's a lot of different options for you to switch up and mix match as far as the uh trouble bubble has a, a lot of different features on it. it has missiles and dog bones on the side that can come off you can put on and they really hint it towards uh giving us some extra features which i really think eventually they'll do blast effects if they keep them in the same light as they did that three pack viper for the amazon exclusive or or the fan channel exclusive i think they're in good shape because i those are some of the best blast effects i've seen and especially you can add and stack them on 
they also uh showed that you can take off the uh booster pack i guess the rocket propel pack in the back and they're basically just hinting like hey we're gonna come out with some features and some extra things for this in the future so you got the dog bone pants to take out so you can add on stack up and do it however you want to do it just like back in the day of course the top glass lid flips back so a driver can get in the seat belt is functional with a peg in uh type function and then also in the front the front handlebar can come down of course so a driver can enter then it has like this like rust colored computer screen graphics like the 80s or uh you know you remember in the 80s if you're around the 80s you remember like the mountain dew colored words and things of that nature a lot of cell phones had that mountain dew colored screen in the early 2000s man so it takes you back to a time man so it's it's once again it's another nostalgia hit or nostalgia tug but the televiper in general uh, with the deco what it's offering i think it's pretty cool for 54 dollars you get a really solid figure of course the figure doesn't have a lot of features on it which it does as far as scope and what you see there but that's the way a televiper is um and that's the way it's supposed to be and i think i think i think it's a good offering for 54 hey i'm not even gonna front i brought five myself so i got 300 and something dollars i'm gonna have to pay on october 1st when this thing drops on hasbro pulse exclusive so it's an august september october with these uh four drops i think they were pretty solid uh what do you guys think if you can give me a like comment subscribe this is a savage land. We do this for the love and beauty of action figures in Yo Joe June. As more information comes out during June, I definitely will be commentating on and uh, just getting some of you guys' feedback and uh, maybe we converse on some G.I. Joe stuff. And also, um, I got a lot of G.I. Joe content on here. I want you to go back and check out my video, 116 Cobra Troops. That's all my Cobra Troop Army builders I put together in one video. Some pretty cool content. And with that being said, until the next time, God bless. Thank <laughs> you.